specific for the uh, 2019 Crosstrek from e-trailers. I'm going to work on mounting it underneath the car, which involves a little bit more time and uh, technique. After feeding your trailer wire through this hole that you removed the plug from, cut a little notch about the width of the wire for for the plug to go back in. Nice seal. Heat resistant tubing to protect uh, the wiring from the from the muffler because there's a heat source under there but in order to feed this into this I'm going to need to cut these wires and rewire them after I feed the hose through. Color coordinated shouldn't be that tough. Do your reconnections a little bit away from the plug I taped that cap back in place, taped the wire down, put this part here so it's all secure, it doesn't go anywhere. Put my tire back in. See there's plenty of space right there in the wheel well for the parts. The underside was pretty simple. This is the hole that I came through with my heat resistant uh, tubing and my wiring inside. I put it, as you could tell, right above the muffler. I tucked it under this heat shield. And I ran it under the heat shield all the way under here to the floor. It comes out here and wraps around, goes into the bumper frame. And so it's in there tight. It's not going to go anywhere. How it holds up to the heat will be a test of time, but it's a worthwhile experiment. And then I just ran it down here. And I came through a hole on the bottom of my bumper. Plugged everything in. Because I don't like hanging wires on trailers, I'll just tuck all the wire into the end of the trailer's hitch, like so. I'm, you know, anal retentive, and I just plug it with a little bit of this to hold it all in place. Crazy, man. I'll just run this around for a week or so, run it hot, see how the wire holds up, test the time before I put the trail on. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. <laughs> I did.